what do you get when you combine simplistic yet significantly challenging gameplay and a diverse soundtrack? Well, you get sound shapes, obviously. I mean, just take a look at the title of the video. Of course you knew where I was going with that. But seriously, you guys, this is quite an amazing game. It takes the elements of traditional side-scrolling platformers and adds some awesome music to it. You play as a strange little orb that can stick to most any surface and use platforming to collect coins and avoid the red hazards as you try to get to the end of the level. It's pretty fun for being straightforward. Dying in a level is hardly frustrating as you can come back instantly and spawn on the last checkpoint you touched. A fun little element that really makes the game stand out is that most anything you interact with makes some sort of beat or musical tone, and the more coins you collect, the more developed the stage song becomes, turning them into some pretty catchy tunes. Of course you don't have to collect all the coins in any given level, but it feels so good when you do. The gimmicks and enemies of each level all move along with the music of the stage, which can help you determine when to make jumps and avoid obstacles. The game has six worlds called albums, each with levels that have songs specific to that world. Each album is recorded by a different artist and has a very unique feel with both the music and art direction. The diversity of the soundtrack is awesome, with music composed by different artists from Dead Mouse to Beck. This game has a little something for lots of people. But if you really want to see, or rather hear what I mean, I'm just going to shut up and show you some awesome gameplay footage. Not only can you go through the main levels and try to get the best scores and time to post online, but there's also death mode, which is a challenge stage per level that involves you having to collect a number of coins in a set time limit without dying. The hard part is avoiding the hazards while at the same time trying to rush to grab the coins. This is probably the most frustrating aspect of the game since it really cranks things up to 11. I like a good challenge and all, but the only problem I have with the death mode is that the placement of the coins is always at random. You'll hardly beat a death mode level on your first try, because sometimes the coins spawn way too far away from each other to get them all in time. So yeah, if you play this mode, I hope you have some patience, because you'll die. You'll die a lot. Fortunately, there's no bogus outdated live system in this game, so you can die to your heart's content. If you want a little more variety with the gameplay though, you can always make your own levels in the level creator mode, and post them online for others to play. You can also play others' levels, and see just how creative the community can be. Finally, the last mode to look at is called Beat School. And I hope you aren't hard of hearing because this mode is difficult unless you've got some acute here. You essentially have to place coins on a grid map to create a beat that mirrors the one you're tasked with creating. Each square makes a different sound, but some of the sounds are very similar, making it hard to figure out where you need to put the coins in the first place. But despite everything, all in all, this is a very fun game to play, especially if you really dig music. Although death mode can be somewhat luck based, and beat school can be difficult for those with impaired hearing, this game is super enjoyable and is a musical treat throughout. I give this game an 8.5 out of 10. Be sure to subscribe for more game reviews and other fun content. And we here at Bushy Gaming want to know what your favorite platformers are, so go ahead and list some in the comment section below. This has been a Juju Review, thanks for watching. <laughs>